As we look back in time to the 1940s, we see that the changing concept of men's body image is a reflection of the evolving societal values and norms. During the 1940s, the form of the average man was primarily shaped by demanding physical labor and military service. The average man's physique was honed not by choice but by the necessity of daily life, mirroring a society emerging from the shadows of the Great Depression and actively engaged in the throes of World War II. It was during this era that organizations like the YMCA began to flourish, heralding the importance of a strong character hand-in-hand -hand with a robust body. Championed as manhood factories, these men's spaces emphasized the value of both inner metal and physical strength, indelibly influencing men's perspectives on fitness and body image. The decades of the 1950s and 1960s brought about a distinct shift in the previously functional perception of fitness. The culture began to morph, heavily influenced by the burgeoning popularity of physique magazines, film, and media in general. These mediums showcased the potential of the male form and explored how men could communicate messages of strength, pride, social status, and virility through their bodies. The popularity of weightlifting and bodybuilding grew exponentially, propelled by iconic figures like Steve Reeves. Muscles were no longer just a byproduct of work or service but began to symbolize strength, masculinity, status, and beauty. In a societal shift, the 1970s and 1980s marked the slow demise of men's fraternal organizations, challenged by the rising feminist movement advocating against gender-exclusive spaces. Perhaps not coincidentally, these decades also witnessed the growth of gyms and an all-consuming gym culture. Gyms became more than venues for exercise. They evolved into social hubs, providing a shared space for men to interact, challenge, and inspire each other. Fitness became synonymous with personal autonomy, a movement away from purely breadwinner roles and a chance for men to invest time in their physical health and hobbies. Sociologist Michael Kimmel has argued that the rise of bodybuilding in the United States in the 1970s was a response to the perceived emasculation of American men in the wake of the Vietnam War and the rise of feminism. Kimmel argues that bodybuilding offered men a way to reclaim their masculinity and to assert their physical dominance in a world that was increasingly dominated by women and technology. In the 1990s and 2000s, the fitness culture experienced the meteoric rise of professional bodybuilding. The era of mass monsters had dawned. The definition of an ideal body was rewritten, favoring outrageously muscular and excessively ripped bodies. The likes of Dorian Yates, Ronnie Coleman, and Jay Cutler, who became the epitome of this new mass monster phenomenon, pushed the boundaries of muscular development to levels previously thought impossible. Fitness, during this period, became more than just about physical strength or wellness it became a high-stakes competition, a quest to sculpt a body so muscular and defined that it verged on the surreal. The body was no longer just a medium to showcase physical strength or health but a canvas upon which men carved out their dedication, discipline, and extremes of human capabilities. These massive, shredded forms symbolized power, control, discipline, and determination. They communicated to the world that the men who owned these bodies were capable of extreme commitment, discipline, and sacrifice to mold their physiques into extraordinary forms. Fast forward to the 2010s and today, the fitness landscape and the aesthetic ideal of the male body have significantly evolved. Fitness trends like CrossFit and high-intensity interval training HIT, have surged in popularity, according to a 2020 run-repeat survey, highlighting a new aesthetic ideal that values versatility, functional strength, and endurance. Instead of focusing solely on bulk and muscular size, the aesthetic ideal of today has pivoted towards lean muscle mass, an athletic build, and physical adaptability, traits that align with the principles of CrossFit and HIT. This shift reflects an emphasis on fitness as a lifestyle rather than just a physical appearance, symbolizing agility, speed, endurance, and power. The ideal body of the current era is no longer necessarily the most muscular, but it's the one that can perform diverse physical tasks efficiently, demonstrating a broader societal trend towards health, vitality, and functional fitness. This paradigm shift away from the mass monster era is evident in the rise of athletes and fitness influencers who champion balanced diets, regular exercise, and healthy lifestyle choices. 
A more recent development in the fitness industry is the resurgence of functional fitness. Interestingly, it seems to echo 1940s-style physical culture, focusing on health, practicality, and usefulness over aesthetic perfection. According to a report from the American College of Sports Medicine, this trend towards functional fitness has seen rapid growth in recent years. Could this be a full circle return to our fitness roots, a tacit recognition that fitness should serve a purpose beyond the superficial? From the resilient men of the 1940s to the meticulously toned fitness enthusiasts of today, the evolution of fitness culture has profoundly altered men's body image. The pressure to achieve a certain physique has been a constant companion throughout these transformations, always present, albeit its intensity changing with the decades. So, what do these historical shifts suggest about the future of men's body image? With current fitness trends favoring holistic well-being and functional strength over extreme muscularity, we may be heading towards an era where the focus is more on overall health and less on aesthetic perfection. But only time will reveal how societal values will evolve and how they will shape the future of men's body image. In a society increasingly aware of mental health's importance, it's plausible to expect a continued push towards body positivity and realistic fitness goals. The popularity of the dad bod trend could be a harbinger of this shift, and it's possible that future fitness trends will place even more emphasis on individual health and comfort rather than societal expectations. However, as history has shown, these trends can be cyclical, and societal ideals of the male body may once again shift in unexpected directions. This dynamic interplay between fitness culture, societal norms, and men's body image will undoubtedly continue to evolve, offering fascinating insights into our collective values and aspirations.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Oh, my God.